What's up everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life and TV. I am Poetry. You are here for another recap and review. This time it is Queen Sugar, Season 5, Episode 4, Late April 2020. <clears throat> okay, before we even get started, subscribe to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so that way you can be notified of every time I post a video on this channel as I do not have a schedule. And I just found out that one of our lifers, Keisha Charmaine, her birthday is tomorrow. So when y'all put y'all comments down in the comment section, make sure y'all shout out Keisha Charmaine and say happy birthday, girl. Because I know I ain't going to see this. I ain't going to be online tomorrow. I probably ain't going to be online tomorrow. I <laughs> wish you had birthday, but I'm going to wish you today. Let me get my Mimi Mizo. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Keisha Charmaine. It is tomorrow, even though I'm singing it today, but yeah, we're going to do that. Okay, so, um, the C-19. The C-19 is taking down the forms, y'all. It's all on the news. Ra got to lay off employees because either folks are scared to come to work or they testing positive. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do have some petty pet peeves. I'm going to name a couple of them, but I understand why they exist. However, I'm still going to call them out. So, we had another editing food pile. But like I said, because I understand C-19 is making it fall this way. Harvest season. They acting like it's starting right now. Harvest season begins in October, y'all. At the earliest September. And it's always been October to the early fall for sugar cane. Now, the harvest, depending on how big acres, how many acres you have, it could last until April. But... We got the whole Panasonic going on right now. So they had to make it fit somehow. Um, and Ra, he said it too. Yeah, we should be done by now. We should be done. But it don't look like they got started. I'm just saying. Because they start planting new cane in January. You know, from September from September to January, they start planting new cane. They're supposed to start, you know, being ready for the new fall season. But okay, that's one of my pet peeves. And um, that's, that's probably why Micah's homecoming was in March too. Because they were just trying to make them fit. I think if the if we didn't have the Rona hit, things would be normal, which is what they're saying. Nothing is normal right now. Nothing is normal. So poetry, you just being petty over something that ain't normal. So we got shit that's going on that ain't normal like it's supposed to. Okay, right. So anywho, but if it was if it was normal like it used to be, when Queen Sugar started harvest season would have been in the fall. Trust and believe that. Um. So, Rod got a lot to lose, right? a lot of money to lose uh, because he have cane just wasting away and it's other farmers out there who feel in the same effects as they do before i go any further i am rocking my uh, lip gloss coffee it is right here survive beauty coffee you can get this with the sweet indulgence set for $24.99 you get three glosses you get coffee you get hot chocolate and you get mocha mix uh off of $24.99 three different shades of gorgeous melanated brown and you get two free cups of uh, coffee and hot chocolate. Or one cup of coffee and hot chocolate with your order. If you order the gift set today. Yes. www.survivebeauty.com Alright, got that out the way. So now Nova and Calvin. They are enjoying quarantine because they are enjoying each other. Totally the opposite of what I projected last week. So... I was like, all this loving and sex and stuff going on. Okay, I was talking about three times a day. Is Nova going to end up pregnant? Is that what's going to happen? Well, I'm Vi's prize pies. They taking orders, baby. And I was wondering last week why she had to close. I meant to mention it. Because food places were essential, especially if you can do carryout orders or you can do delivery. You know, why I'm Vi's prize pies have to close? I can understand when Charlie said it, it was just taking precautions. They didn't know what was going on. So the two weeks notice, but once everybody started realizing that the food places were essential, I'm Vi should have been open. So y'all see I'm Vi rocking it. She was rocking the silver, the silver gray hers. Silver gray hairs. Oh, did you see her rock, rocking the silver gray hers? I can't, <laughs> I can't do it y'all. I can't do it. I know I'm 47. I got nine gray hairs over here. I got some that's trying to poke through. I'm about to color them B.I.E. just soon too, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't do it. It look cute on some people, but I don't want, no. 
We ain't finna see if it look cute on me. We not finna do it. I'm gonna die them suckers as long as they want to be died. I'm just saying. So, anywho, Charlie has a Zoom meeting with council members. The hospitals are filling up. They've already moved to the parking lots. Soon, it won't be any place for anybody to go. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, why does my baby daddy got to be the asshole on the show? Jackson, you know what I'm saying? Charlie is like, you know, the fact that we are running out of space for people to go that are sick, this is why it's imperative for people who are non-essential to stay at home. He said, is that why your auntie out there uh, open for business? I drove through the other day and saw she had all this activity going on up in there. Vice Prize Pies is a restaurant, sir. It's a restaurant. She sell more than just pies. She sell more than just pies. She is essential. The fuck you mean, Jackson? Okay. I always got to be one clown ass person talking shit. He fine, the motherfucker. Though. He is fine. Who's side? <laughs> anyway. Nova set up a hotline for from True Papers, her news, her news, her online newspaper. Okay, and her, the plan is to hand out essentials to folks. Um, she got a team of volunteers ready to take them door to door, but she tells them if anyone needs more, no is not the answer. You know what I'm saying? Tell them to hit me up, and we are gonna accommodate them. And I'm like. Oh, where the hell y'all getting all these essentials from in April? This is my second petty baby. <laughs> where y'all getting all these essentials from in April? This is the end of April, too, according to this episode title. That was the month where store shelves were empty. Empty. Because people were hoarding. And y'all just going to leave that toilet paper on the table, too, unattended. Y'all see her and Kevin walk away and lay that toilet paper on the table? Heck, Dorla got back from the store and she's like, it's a battlefield over there. She had to fight off 15 motherfuckers. Like, what, 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 what? She had to fight off people just to get some doggone Captain Crunch that wasn't even named brand. You know, so toilet paper that to cut your ass up. She had to fight off people just to get that, you know. Me, when I was going through it, if y'all been on this channel long enough, y'all remember, I was going to five, six different stores looking for stuff. Remember that? And we was running out of toilet paper. Wings and mumbo sauce. One of my life was actually mailed me some toilet paper because I was down to my last fucking roll, y'all. She just don't understand how grateful my ass felt. I mean, I was grateful too, but my booty felt even better because I was really nervous. It was like the, my butt cheeks was clenching like this, like I'm a girl, you know, get that nervous. Yeah, that's how we was doing. We was nervous. We was thankful. Wings and mumbo sauce. I'm going to tell you one more time, girl. Thank you. Thank you, boo. I'm just saying. So, Ra, he said he grateful too, you know. He grateful that he didn't even have to harvest. Because um, most of the farms did, and they ended up wasting crop. In his case, since they didn't harvest at all, all the crop is going to go back into the earth, you know what I'm saying? And his soil would be much richer the next year. So, you know, we did it in our garden too. Remember I had that garden back in St. Louis? And if you, when you plant and stuff, the next year, don't plant in the same place that you plant. Move it somewhere else to untouched ground. Allow that soil to re rebuild up the nutrients in it so you can have better crop. So, yeah, you know, Rob was right, Rob was right. Uh, especially if you're using compost. And if he's letting that sugar cane go back into the earth, that's basically natural compost, right? So, um, Rob, he like money getting tight, though. Money getting tight. Dollar, she ain't working either right now. But Rob is too proud to ask Charlie for help. I understand, though. He want to provide for his own family without having to always run to Charlie when times get hard. He got faith that things are going to work out, okay? Well, Charlie got to go break the news to Aunt Vi that she's being watched. There's a health inspector running through town shutting people down. And Aunt Vi said, I'm just helping struggling folks who can't get food, can't get things they need. Well, her and Nova done teamed up. And Nova and Calvin is out here delivering the food for Aunt Vi. And they doing contactless delivery. So Charlie said, that's cool. I just don't understand why Aunt Vi's closed. I don't understand it at all. And then she said the small business relief loans ran out uh, ran out this April. They ran out that fast? I was surprised to hear that. It's just the end of April. Well, Mike is on his way home. And Aunt Vi like, be ready for the drama, girl. Be ready for the drama. Because when Nova came back from college, her and Ernest was going at it. They fought often. And Charlie like, that's not me and Micah. That's not us. Mm -mm. Charlie, I don't know where you been, girl. That's been you and Micah since y'all moved to St. Joe's. He has been giving you attitude since 
then. It's like he got a permanent bad mood that he didn't carry around him since y'all moved there. And speaking of bad moods, baby, the virus got prosper in one, honey. Nova dropped off his stuff and he pretty much kicked her out. Okay. He was like, now didn't I say a thousand doggone times I was good? She kept pressing like prosper. Come on now. I know you all right. You know what I'm saying? He was like, you know what? What's, what's, what's tripped me out about this is because most folks, everybody handled it differently, but I, I always thought that most folks craved being around people um, because they were alone so doggone much. Prosper's like, if I wanted you here, I would have invited you to stay. Okay, so for now, see you later, bye. Now, don't let the doorknob hit you with a good little split. That's all I'm saying. Now, for real though, that's how I was too. Y'all remember, I was like, don't come to my house. Don't bring me nothing. My cousin was like, I'll be down there. Now, nope. We in a whole pandemic. No, you won't. My mama snuck out with Corona Bay. Y'all remember that? You remember that? Come on now. We got a whole Panda Express going on. Quarantine. 14 days. That's how it was too. But Prosper, he's like really angry. He's angry at life in general. He's angry at the, 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 the lack of moves that the president is making. He's, he's uh, angry at the lack of information about this virus, you know, he's just, he's rightfully so. So, um, but yeah, I was like, Prosper, don't bring that C-19 in here. Not with you. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. So, Wood, Hollingsworth. Baby, that's a name for you. I did not know Wood's name was Hollingsworth. Woo, child. He was chatting with his mama. It's hilarious to me how elder they try to make his mama seem and they try to make Aunt Vi seem so youthful and vigorous. And these women, damn, they're the same age. I think they only had like two or three years difference in age, right? Well, mama got her a little dry cough. Okay. She say it's dry air, but wood ain't too sure. I was that same way. Motherfucker around me sneezed at work. Cough. Running at anything. It's just sinuses. How you know? How do you know? Mama like, look here, everything ain't the Rona. <laughs> everything ain't the Rona. But considering her age, you know, he want to keep an eye on her in that cough. You know what I'm saying? So now Micah is home. And he got the house looking like a damn mess. Charlie trying not to start no beef with him. Like, you know, it's all good. I'm grown. You grown. No, ma'am, Pam. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, sir. No way. I don't care how grown you are. You ain't finna leave my doggone house looking this way. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. Get it together. It's all about respect. Now, in his defense, he did offer to clean the mess up. The mess that shouldn't have been there in the first place. But he did offer to clean it up. But acting like, oh, it's no biggie. Charlie, come on, girl. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. Okay, anyway. Well, Michael want to roll out to meet with his friends. No, that's not what we're doing. That's what that's, that's that's a no. That is a no. Michael, you and Charlie already discussed that before you came home. There would be no meeting of the friends, no running off to go see Kiki, none of that until this uh stay at home. It's a net in my damn house. The stay at home order has been lifted. Well, baby, Michael's fears were realized or they were actualized because Kiki got a whole grown ass boyfriend. She dumped Micah. She dumped Micah. Now, I know, or from what I'm hearing, because I didn't, like I said, I didn't go to college when I was that age. I went to college later in life. When you a freshman and you go in as a freshman with a boyfriend, nine times out of ten, boyfriend or girlfriend, nine times out of ten, you're going to end the semester without one or with somebody else. I'm saying, I just wish they had wrote it differently for Kiki. Um, and I was like, does that mean we're not going to see her no more? Oh, has her character been written off? Because Micah already got a new boo. She looked like SZA. That's what they say. And they can't wait to see each other. And she's submitting with Charlie. I don't like her already. <laughs> petty. I know I'm just petty. Well, speaking of off, Darla just got laid off. You know, seven people who were in her office that were still going in, they came up positive. So they shutting it off down insurance claims just not going to be processed and they did that for real like i remember the airline said that they uh their trip insurance they weren't honoring none of that none of it so if you had a flight that was canceled due to the rona too bad so sad that's how they was doing but 
Um, she says she's furloughed. Her job, though, still giving them full benefits while they furloughed. Our job cut that shit off. Only thing we can get was unemployment. That's all. Which, this is one thing that another pet peeve of mine. By this time of year, they had already approved the unemployment increase. So, people who was on unemployment was getting an extra $600 a week. Um, so, if you furlough it, you can get unemployment. Um, and people was already get, had their they stymies. Because my daughter got her stymie in April. Um, I guess they're going to overlook that or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Uh, because that is an option for Rod and Dollar as well. But Rod out here selling his dog on equipment. And it was this guy there. And I was thinking the same thing. Like, this dude is trying to stiff me because he know we're going through hard times. Not considering the fact that he going through hard times too. He can only afford to buy, you know, so much. Why he out here trying to buy a tractor when his farm can't do shit either right now? Um... I guess it's the best time to buy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it's when the stock market crashed. It was the best time for us to buy, for real. But they end up settling on, like, Rob wanted $8,500. He, he asked to buy for $5,500. Dude, $3,000 off? You, you doing too much. But they settled on seven. And Rob said that $7,000 ain't even putting a dent in his bills. What kind of bills do y'all have? OMG. That the $7,000 would have carried me at least a couple months. Two, three months at least. It ain't putting a dent. I mean, I ain't running no form either, but you ain't got no workers to employ. You ain't doing no harvest. You saving money by not harvesting according to what Dollar said. What the fuck kind of bills y'all got? Oh my God. Anyway, um, I'm real surprised at Raw right now. Because, like, last episode, um, before the virus really hit, Raw was the one who was the most. Well, he was the non-believer. You know, he didn't believe that it existed. He thought it was just a hoax. You know what I'm saying? And now, six weeks later, it's mid-May now. Um, six weeks later, he is like, uh, or is it mid-May? No, it's the end of April. He has the most positive mindset out of everybody there. Um, and I mean, you kind of got to be, because it's, it's dark times, you know. And these dark times could eat you the fuck up. I mean, look at Prosper. And times don't seem to be getting better no way fast, okay? Well, Wood, he's still trying to reach his mama by phone, and she ain't picking up. Baby, he is panicking. Okay, panicking. Now, he was able to reach her bridge partner, Florence, on the phone. And Florence said she was going to go by and check on her. And I was like, if they kill off Hollywood's mama, I'm going to have to shut my TV off, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to. It was going to be it. I was going to be done, right? Well, Darla and Rod had talked about the fact that they want to get jobs. Both of them. They just got to look at who hiring. And so Darla thought about, you know, convalescent homes and stuff like that. But it's got to be real risky, especially with the virus out there. Well, Rob went there apply for a job and he got hired. You know what I'm saying? He at least got the interview at the old folks home. But he got hired yeah, at the old folks home. And I was like, that's going to be a struggle. That's going to be a struggle, especially cleaning up rooms. He's taking custodial work, the same type of job his daddy did. But you clean up rooms, and you're going to have to sometimes clean up rooms after folks who actually died of the virus. That's going to be a mental fuck. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, Woods' mama, he finally heard from the neighbor and saying, yeah, she got more symptoms. You know what I'm saying? Well, she feeling a little bit lethargic. So now she lethargic. She got that dry cough. And so it ain't looking good, especially to him. You know, we, we start being like Google doctors and things. We start putting everything together. You end up with everything. You know what I'm saying? And um, so we're like, I need to go down there with my mom. I got to. I got, he told Vi I got to go. But he was trying to reach Prosper, too, and Prosper wasn't answering. So he said, you know what? First light, I'm going to roll out to Prosper's, and then I'm heading down to Baton Rouge to go see my mama. You know what I'm saying? Baton Rouge is like an hour and a half away from New Orleans. I don't know how long, how far St. Joe is supposed to be from New Orleans. I think like a half hour maybe. Um, well, we go see Prosper because, you know, they got us fucking weary now. Prosper's up in the bed killing his damn spirit. Watching that news over and over again. My mama was doing it. It was driving me crazy to go downstairs and sit in my space. You know, I, my living room with my TV in my space. And it heard from her room the news all day long. Oh, that was driving me crazy. And so I could just know it is turning him up on the inside. Baby, he got up from that chair and he was stumbling. I panicked. 
I thought he was finna hit the floor, y'all, and pass out or something like that. Oh, but he made it on back to his room, got on in the bed, and his phone was blowing up. He kept ignoring it and blowing up again, so he finally answered. He was like, Wood, dog, what's up? And it turned out to be Nova. He thought it was Wood calling from a different number. Well, Nova did get to make him feel useful, you know what I'm saying? She said that she's going to, um, she's working on an article for the paper and she could use his opinion or his insight. And he was like, oh, yeah, 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 I could do that. He's feeling so much better. You know, he just needed to, I guess, feel like he could, like he could do something in this whole situation. Like, because you feel kind of hopeless, like, dog, there's nothing I could do, you know? So, yeah, he feels a lot a lot better <laughs> for that well um that's the end of this episode that's pretty much everything that went on if i forgot anything i missed anything y'all let me know down in the comment section i appreciate you being here and if anybody else got any birthdays you know that song was for y'all too you 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 and you and then, me, 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 me. had to get my me me me's on uh appreciate you uh hopefully next week i should be on time oh i'll see you again peace